<sighs> Come on! You can do better than that! But... They're mere peasants. Driven to this by starvation, pain, and suffering. How can we just... Well, if you're that soft, you won't be able to keep the vow you just made. Indeed. Hmm. Now that we are sworn brothers, you need greater strength of spirit. Yes, you are right. We are unified in intent and in life with our might and our honor. We shall end this chaos. Let us go, my sworn brothers. Children, you believe that will bring back your lost heaven, perhaps? Huh? I know nothing of heaven, nor do I wish to cut you down or hurt your people. <laughs> <laughs> Causing discord is a crime. But the human heart can both forgive and atone for such acts. You preach the way of peace. Cast aside violence and lead the people with your heart. Oh, my lord. You are a great man indeed. I see now that I am meant to follow your teachings. Oh, yes. Oh, I never thought of it like you. that. Ha! How naive. No. This is the way. Look at the happy faces of the people. Wow, that's Thank great. That's Wonderful. Relief. Well, you might be right. <laughs> Our sworn brother has taken the first step on his long journey. And I thought the yellow turbans were bad. If I'd gotten in the way, those monsters would have cut me down, too. <laughs> Brother, do not lose heart. Our battle was based on honorable principles. That's right. If we don't stop these rampaging fools, then there'll never be an end to it. That may be so. But nonetheless, it pains me to see such fear and suffering. <sighs> Look, once the yellow turbans calm down a little, the people will be much better off. Hmm. However, the true cause of the people's pain is still around. Yes. I believe that this is just the beginning. Ugh. <sighs> 
pathetic. He's pretty good. I am here to help. <clears throat> My lord, we cannot allow your light to be extinguished here. That's right. We must combine our strength and defeat this raging monster. <clears throat> Entertain me if you can. Got you. Now, prepare yourself. <laughs> so you finally got me, have you? Good. Good for you. I seem to have given you quite some trouble already. Can you manage another push? Oh. Is this where I tell you to prepare yourselves? No way! There's still this many of them? <laughs> Zhang Fei, get our brother out of here! Never make it. I'll help. No. Take our brother and go quickly. Guan Yu. I will see you again. Go now. <sighs> 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 You're real trouble, aren't you? It can't be helped. I shall withdraw before things get too serious. Brother! Mm -hmm. I'm glad you are safe. Oh. Mm. Oh. I'm glad to see you. How did you survive? I have been in Shu province, lending my life briefly to Lord Cao Cao, and doing some tasks for him to repay the mercy he showed me. It goes against my honor to have fought for one other than my sworn brother, and I ask forgiveness. Please, say no more. You have done nothing but maintain our vow to live and to die together and you hmm you have joined my brother's cause <sighs> so what next we've done everything you and Shao told us to that man desires power only for his own selfish ends if we continue to fight with him we will never see the land we desire. My apologies. You have only just joined us, and now I fear we will be homeless. Worry not about me. This spear of mine exists to serve you alone! The Eight Gates formation mm -hmm. of Cao Ren lies mm -hmm. ahead. Walking straight into it would mean certain death. Who are you? Oh. My name is Xu Xu. I'm just passing by. What? Sounds suspicious to me. <laughs> suspicious? I can't disagree. However, I can provide you with that which you lack, Lord Liu Bei. 
you approach, knowing the identity of our brother. Hmm. Let's hear him out. What is it that I lack, then? Strategy. Someone to formulate plans. Control the flow of battle. A strategist. Hmm. So, you're here to offer your services. Ah, <laughs> well, not necessarily. I have heard, actually, talk of a wise man in these parts, known as the Sleeping Dragon. Is that you? Actually, no. Please, speak plainly. Just as you say, I do indeed require a strategist. Then... you wish to meet this man? Yes, very much. Then... you must do as I say. We will break through this formation. Then I will lead you to the Sleeping Dragon. So you are he, the famous Sleeping Dragon. I am... Yes, I know of you, Master Liu Bei. I feel I have been led to this land in order to meet with you. Please, would you consider lending your strength to my endeavors? Very well. Then, my lord, I must ask that you proceed through this age of chaos as a man of benevolence. Benevolence? Yes. Benevolence is the true form of your intent. The light that spreads your brilliance across the land. Are you sure this is what you want? Yes. It is not me whom he needs at this time. Show him the path of benevolence, my lord. And lead him through the dangers of war. You are the only one who can do that. I wish I could be like you, you know? But it is simply beyond me. Where will you go? Where, you ask? To find a place for myself. He is in your hands now. So you are Master Zhuge Liang, the famed strategist. Master Zhou Yu, all is as I outlined in the scroll I sent you. Oh, so formal. We are to talk of fighting together. We must be more open. Isn't that right, my lord? <laughs> exactly right, Lu Su. I read your scroll. A proposal that will certainly be of benefit to both yourselves and to us. Blunt Cao Tsao Cao's momentum and buy us some time. Advantageous to us all. But that is not the entire story. Unlike Wu, Master Liu Bei lacks a land which he can call his own. Perhaps obtaining such a foothold is your true goal. Come now. 
We cannot expect all secrets to be shared. Can we not turn a blind eye? <laughs> well, this alliance would certainly be good for Wu. The battle shall take place at Chirbi. We shall use our intellect and courage to sink Cao Cao's great fleet. Zhou Yu is a perceptive man. I wonder how much he sees of the truth behind this alliance. But, for now, this is the only path we can take. We must claim victory here first, before all else. These flames shall be the beacons to light your way. We must move on, my lord. The next battle has already begun. What? You're leaving already? My apologies, my lady. I am sure we shall meet again. My lord. Ah, Shushu. That day, when we first fought together, and now, seeing the battlefield from Wei's encampment, I realized that I have been lying to myself. The place I should be is here. I am no master of strategy, I fear. I am quite naive, in fact. Yet... Make use of me, my lord. I, too, wish to light your way to glory. Well said. I have been waiting for you. From today, you walk with me. benevolence, and yet brings this destruction, the villain. Oh, enemy of justice! Ah, ah young master! I knew he'd react like that. Let's go! Ah. Now you face me. My spear shall strike down all evil.
Master Liu Zhang. I'm... Don't go feeling sorry for him. Hmm? <laughs> Listen carefully. The people are happy to be your subjects. A benevolent man would go to them. Tang Tong! Uh, the battle went well, at least. But as for myself, it looks like I misread the remainder of my life. But if you were injured, <laughs> why didn't you say? Let me take this chance to speak. There are times when it can be best to hide your true face. No matter what happens, you must keep showing the people a benevolent visage. Enough. I understand. Say no more. Yes. This is my final lecture. Fly high, my lord, to the very top. My lord! Huh? Uh. Shall not escape! Worry not! <clears throat> let them go! <clears throat> what do you mean, let them go? Giving chase now will only play into their hands. Huh? <sighs> exactly. Well, we'll be going then. Yes, it is time. Huh? Hold on. Go where? <laughs> Just a little trip to Fawn Castle. The enemy are scouting frequently. Their main force will attack soon. So they let us take the castle before surrounding us. Have we just been dancing to their tune? This never-ending rain, too. They surely plan to make use of it. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We can win. So long as we all fight. Together. I have shared my brother's ambition, and now I have seen my children grow so strong. Though I have lived through chaos, what a full and satisfied life it has been. Father, is something the matter? My children, your era. A new land of benevolence lies before us. Now, your honor and courage will be needed more than ever. Oh, good. <clears throat> I made it in time. <laughs> Shu Shu, 
What brings you to Fawn Castle? A plan, my lord. I have a way out of this peril. Comrades, you have fought well and seen off our foe. Let out a victory cry. The land has been shown. The honor of our cause. Finally, the ultimate battle with Cao Cao awaits. Still, what will Wu do next? Things are becoming more complicated. With our strength of spirit, we can overcome any peril. We will keep winning. All of us. <laughs> along with our father. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Jugu Liang. Hong Tong. Our strategy has worked. The triangle has lost its balance. And the battle with Wei and Wu will intensify. But, for now, let us just celebrate this victory. God of War. <laughs> but you are finished. Taking your head will mean far more than Jing Province. <sighs> Father. This to me. Sorry, my son. I have said my goodbyes. Yes. Tell my brother that I am sorry. Yes. Father, wait! Be strong. My daughter. Go! My children! been passed on to the next generation. Impressive indeed, God of War. Like I said, you aren't ready for war. Go back to the camp. I have experience in battle. Tell me, why do you seek to stop me? <sighs> Guan Xing, letting you loose out there would only put you at risk. I am no longer a child. I cannot afford to be. 
Leave him be. He has proven his worth in battle. His desire to avenge his father is identical to your own. However, the fact that the two of you are fighting each other shows that you still have much to learn. <sighs> Come, follow me, both of you, for vengeance! Competent with that spear. Come, I will see just how good you really are. Have no fear. I shall defeat him. No. I want him alive. As you wish. Is that understood? That man, we must capture him alive. Toy with me. You seek to shame me further? Do it. Kill me. <laughs> My apologies. <sighs> but this was the only way I could talk with you. Young man. I wish for you to join us. I greatly desire the aid of your intellect. I finally understand our strategist's intent. Indeed, you have displayed exemplary courage. I too ask that you fight alongside us. Silence! You ensnare me and now talk of standing together? I... I am an officer of Wei! Your fellow officers have run off without you. We have distressed you, for which we apologize. We simply desired your help so much. Please, will you aid us in the creation of a land of benevolence? How strange this is. Your words have quieted my heart. Lead me to your camp. I will follow. This defeat has damaged the Northern Campaign. The fault 
lies entirely with me. I am the one who put you in charge. If the fault lies with anyone, it is with me. No! Good work must be rewarded, and failure punished. Chancellor, please make your just pronouncement. <sighs> My lord! During this battle, we defeated Zhang He. That was only possible because he was so fixated on Ma Su. Which means, that was thanks to Ma Su. If anything, he should probably be rewarded. Sophistry, nothing more! But, it would be benevolent. Don't you agree, Chancellor? Get back to camp. I'm feeling a bit. Uh oh. <laughs> Bow. It must have been that ambush. Save your energy. No. I can't die here. Brother. I'm sorry. I leave the rest to you, my sworn brother. <laughs> no! Everything rests on this battle. For the sake of those lives lost in battle, and for those lives yet to be born, Benevolence will end this age of war. <coughs> Chancellor! <coughs> I am fine. Come, let us begin. I am relying very much upon the strength of the next generation. now it is our task to put an end to this chaos <laughs> you are finished sumayi your cunning has been bettered the next generation belongs to us <laughs> <laughs> I 
imbecile! You don't see, do you? You can have this battle. But... Victory is mine. What? Can you walk it? The path to rule with no guide. <sighs> hmm? No! Chancellor, we have to go on without you? <sighs> hey, you take care out there. Same to you, sis. You might have your own forces now, but you're still... I can fight. There's no need to worry about me, I promise. So you say, but I'm still worried. Brother. What's up, little sis? You can stay behind me. If you're scared, I'll be fine. Yes, of course you will. Still, something is strange here. Setting up their forces at Luko, it's almost as though they are expecting us. The commander at Lu Ko is Lu Su. This battle will be merely one part of his grand design. All of you, approach this battle with due care. Most impressive. You are as good as I had heard. Your youngsters have proven themselves too. This battle. What was its intent, Lu Su? Well, I wanted to prove your strength. To my fellows in Wu, of course. Opinions vary, even within Wu. Some are scared of Shu, and call for your defeat. However, for the sake of our Lord's ambitions, we need to reform our alliance. And yet, at Fon Castle... Wu would have been rent asunder. We had no other choice. With this defeat, I shall be able to persuade the others in Wu. What do you say? Do we have a deal? Very well. We too would welcome an alliance between Shu and Wu. <clears throat> you two! Is this good enough? Yes. Your vision has taught me much, my lord. I am Lu Shun. Henceforth, I shall do all I can for our alliance. And I am Lu Ma. We shall accompany you on the path to rule. kind of you to offer. Mind if we leave it attached to your body, though? What? What do you mean? Come to Shu, 
is what he needs. We have all gathered, drawn by our Lord's vision. You come true. My life, as an officer of Wei, has hereby come to an end. My new life belongs to you. I underestimated my foe. Watch You're here. I have let you down again. My inexperience is showing through. Inexperience? <laughs> Your only problem is that you try to do everything alone. You can rely on us. It's the only way to become truly great. I see. Then come. Stand by me. Yes! Raise a victory cry! Our next battle will be our last. This land will be ruled by benevolence. Let us end this turmoil by our own hands. There's something to be said for watching the young ones, isn't there? Our dreams have been nurtured and passed on. That is the proper state of things. If possible, I would have wished to leave them a world free from war. That lies right before them. Once Cao Cao is defeated, this chaos will come to an end. Let us show the children yet to be born a safe and peaceful future. We've made it this far, brother. Yes, just one more step and we're there. Our final enemy was always to be Lord Cao Cao. Yes, indeed. He is the root cause of this chaos. I am happy, my brothers. Huh? What's brought this on? Happy that the three of us are heading into this age together. We have fulfilled our vow of that day. Huh. Maybe once we've won this battle. Indeed. Come then. Let us strike out into the era that lies beyond this chaos. Yeah. <sighs> you win, Liu Bei. Yes, I do. 
long have you stood in my way? You think benevolence can lead the people? People must be shown reason and kept in check by strength. You might be right. However, I still believe in the potential of the people. Hmm. In that case, do what you will. Farewell, Liu Bei. Farewell, Tao Tao.